Hello and welcome. Today we will be conducting a lab that teaches students that magnets have attractive and repulsive forces. The name of this lab is Magnets. The materials that you will need for this lab include a bar or horseshoe magnets, paper clips, pencils, cardboard, paper, and gloves. So, the Sunshine State Standards in this lab have students investigate and describe that magnets can attract magnetic materials and attract and repel other magnets. The inquiry question for this lab is, get in groups of two, and in front of you are two magnets and five different magnetic materials. You need to accomplish the following tasks and explain why they happen by drawing what you did. Make the magnets stick to each other, make the magnets repel each other, and make a magnet stick to at least two other materials. Now, make three rules about magnets from your observations, okay? The conclusion statement for this lab is, magnets stick together when their opposite poles touch each other, magnets repel when the same poles face each other, and magnets stick to materials that are magnetic, such as iron and steel. Now on to the lab. I have the magnet here. North and South Pole is a bar magnet. And we're going to attempt to have the magnet stick to the plastic gloves. And the magnet is not sticking to the plastic gloves. Okay, so we will set these aside because that doesn't work. Now we will try a piece of cardboard. And that does not stick either. We will now try some paper clips. And it seems that the paper clips do stick to the magnet. Okay, so we will leave these right here since they happen to stick to the magnet. Now here we have a pencil, obviously made out of wood and racer here and there's some metal there so let's see if um, it'll stick to the magnet and it does not so we'll set it aside with the objects that don't stick to the magnet now we have here a regular sheet of paper we shall try to see if that'll work as well not work. So we will also set it aside with the objects that don't stick to the magnet. And last but not least, we have a clamp here. Looks like the majority of it is made out of metal. Let's see if the magnet will stick to the clamp. Seems like it slightly does. Let's see if it'll stay on there. And it does. Excellent. So out of all the objects that were on the table, the two items that stuck to the magnet were the paper clips and the clamp. So that's all for today's lab. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.